Hello, today we're going to be testing some gold. I'm going to show you some various methods of doing so. If you're thinking about buying gold or, you know, you, you know that people are making good money, you know, buying scrap gold off the street, uh, you're going to know, you know, need to know what you're doing. Uh, so today I have, uh, you know, some gold chain here. Uh, with your test kit, you'll have a small black stone like this one. It looks almost like a sharpening stone uh, for a knife, but that's not what it is. You'll, you'll take a, let's say, a piece of chain like this one and you'll scrape it along this stone, leaving a mark on the stone. With your acid that will be included in your acid test kit, we're going to check it for 14 carat, and it says right on the bottle, 14 carat. Now, if it's 14 carat, then the scrape that I made on the black stone should just get wet and not change color. If my scrape on here turns brown, then I know that this this piece of scrap gold here is 10 carat. But since it just simply got wet and didn't change color, we know it's 14 carat. Alright, this works for all sorts of acid. You can test things for 10 carat, test it for 14 carat. You can test it for 22 carat if you think you have some high carat. And you can test it for 18 carat, which is pretty rare in the United States, but you do see it from time to time. Uh, let's take a, a piece like this one. This has a dark color and appears to be 18 carat, but we already know that it's 14. Um, so with this, we'll take and make a small scraping on our black stone. And I'm going to go ahead and use 18 carat on it, though I've already tested it and know it's not 18, just to show you that this is going to become brown in color. Here's my 18 carat acid. Right here is my scrape. And in just a few moments, you will see it magically get browner and browner and browner right here. See, it's beginning to turn brown. So we know it's not 18 carat, this piece. We know this piece is 14, and I'll show you that it's 14. Here's another scraping. Here's our 14 carat acid. And this little scraping right here is just going to get wet and not change color at all. It's just wet. It didn't turn brown at all. So we know that... Our bracelet here is 14 carat. All right, let's move on to the next uh, the next thing we're going to check with. This is a Jim Oro piece. This is a machine. You can plug it in the wall. It's got a 9 volt battery that goes into it. Um, with this machine, it's very simple. We have some very ornate, what appear to be high carat gold gold earrings. And with this machine, you have not available or basically nothing 10 carat, 14 carat, 22 carat, 18 carat, 24 carat, or platinum. We're just going to simply touch it with the tip and watch this climb and see what it becomes. So we know that it's it's almost 18 carat these earrings. They're higher than 14 carat. It's stopping it around almost 17 carat so this is how you would buy this. You would need to check the price of gold that day I would check kickco.com. It gives real-time prices of gold. And you make your customer a cash offer uh, you know, of what you would like to pay for this piece. These earrings appear to be 17 carats. All right, here's another piece. Uh, this has uh, got a tag on it that says platinum. It's probably stamped platinum inside. It's got the weight of platinum. But how do we know it's platinum? Well, we touch it with our device, and it goes all the way to the top where the P and the T appear. So we know this ring is platinum, and you would buy it as platinum. So let's say someone brings in some you know, scrap stuff. It's all mixed together. And you're separating 10, 14, 18 carat, and platinum. I have a ring right here. I'm going to show you on both, uh, both ways to test what this is. And this, this appears to be gold. It is not gold. We're going to scrape it on here. Already, the scrape on the stone doesn't appear to be gold at all, though the ring does. We're going to test it with 14 carat, and what's going to happen is shortly, everything that I scraped on here will disappear off of the stone completely. The acid will eat it up. It'll be gone. If there's any tiny little specks of it left, it'll just be the gold that's plated on the outside of the ring on there. But this will go away and not appear to be gold at all on uh, the Jim Oro machine. It's even simpler. It's calibrating. Touch it lightly. Nothing. 
the machine knows that this is not gold. And it's very, very simple. If you want to buy scrap gold, it's very it's a very lucrative business. I do suggest you get the Jim Oro piece, this 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 device right here, because it's incredibly simple to use. It doesn't tell a lie and it doesn't make a mistake. And when you're using the acid test kit, if you get this acid on your skin, you may not feel it, but in about three or four seconds your skin turns yellow and in about a week the skin actually peels off like you got a sunburn. And so it's a little dirtier and uh, it's you know it's it's not as safe as this this device here which is not expensive and this thing can make you lots and lots of money so if you're gonna buy uh, scrap gold I would buy the Jim Oro piece and you know if you don't want to spend that much money get a few tubes of acid and and make the money if you need any of the gold testing acids they have everything from 10 carat to 22 carat including platinum acid you can buy this at Atlanta Jewelry Supply Atlanta Jewelry Supply also carries the Jim Oro piece which is, you know, just a simple pen you touch you know, the piece of jewelry with or the scrap gold with and it tells you exactly what you're holding in your hand. You can get it at Atlanta Jewelry Supply. The Oracle pen that comes with the Jim Oro machine will do about 5,000 gold tests or platinum tests before you need to replace the pen. And you can also buy this replacement pen for this machine, which simply plugs into the main box at Atlanta Jewelry Supply.